guys, Joel here from Wild Rose Builds. And you may have seen on the channel that I do a bit of CNC stuff. CNC machining is actually what got me into 3D printing. Uh, it's what got me interested in G-code and numeric controlled uh, machines in general. Um, so you may have seen that I've cut some stuff on this guy, the little Bantam PCB mill. Um, I used to work for a company where I cut and carved signs using a big CNC, and that's actually where I cut that guy. But I recently got in touch with a company called Oozenest, and they make a CNC called the WorkBee CNC, and it runs off a pretty familiar board, uh, which is the Duet uh, version 2 board. And it's sort of a dual purpose board where it can run a CNC or it can run a 3D printer. So I reached out to them, I got one of their machines in the shop, and uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of it and uh, show you some of the projects I've made with it so far and uh, show you kind of what to expect on the channel when it comes to CNC stuff in the future. So let's go take a look at it. Okay, so this is the WorkBee CNC machine. Oozenest makes this in a variety of sizes. I opted for the biggest one because I have a ton of um, furniture designs that I'll be cutting on this. But the thing that I like about a CNC machine as opposed to a 3D printer is you can do stuff like take uh, the seat from a broken chair and cut uh, some wall hooks out of it. You can find reclaimed wood material and make furniture out of it. Essentially, this just is a DeWalt plunge router uh, that you just turn on when you run your G-code. It's pretty loud, uh, but it's pretty cool. So if you're not familiar with CNC routers, what you do is you subtract material. So you have stock, say like this old reclaimed uh, chair seat, and you remove material to make the part that you're after. Whereas 3D printers is additive manufacturing. So you're adding material to create a part. Um, so with that being said, there's a lot of dust uh, that gets generated while you're cutting these parts. So I've 3D printed this dust collector here. Um, just hooks up to a big vacuum uh, to keep this room hopefully dust, dust free. So it's running the Duet version two board. I opted for an ethernet connection just because I had ethernet ran throughout my house and it's just a, a more reliable connection. The stepper motors are, I believe, NEMA 24s as opposed to the NEMA 17s that you'd see on a, on a traditional 3D printer. So a little beefier, they take a little more power, um, but more than up to the task for, for CNC machining. Everything on this machine is lead screw driven, uh, so you get great resolution from that. Um, it is using V-slot extrusion, but these are some very tough wheels. They aren't like the rubber wheels that we'd see on a, on a 3D printer. They're a lot harder, uh, so just keep everything a lot more rigid. That's really a key uh, component when it comes to successfully machining something, um, is having everything be very rigid, so there's that. So since it is running the Duet uh, V2, it's got a web interface so I can just connect to it via IP address and I'll show you what that interface looks like right now. So this is the dashboard for the WorkBCNC machine. 
So this control panel is hosted on the Duet itself. All the files for this interface are on the SD card. Um, so that means that all I have to do is point any web browser on my network to the machine's IP address and it'll bring up this interface. So that means I can control it through my phone, through a laptop, through my desktop. Uh, and you can see here, we've got options for jogging the machine around uh, as well as setting your work uh, coordinates, um, options to probe uh, using the, the Ooznest touch probe. Uh, and if we come into here, we've got jobs. So this is all your tool pathing G code and you can upload right to it. Um, and you can also start jobs right from this right from this uh, menu as well. Um, there's a lot of system settings that you can play around with. There's options for webcams, which is uh, something I'll set up eventually here. Uh, it also has a cool feature where you can uh, essentially mesh bed level your entire spoiler board, which is super cool. Um, as well as an area where you can just send G-code directly to the machine. Uh, so that's the basics, pretty simple to use interface, super clean. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so that's it for me on this one today, guys. I hope you're as stoked as I am to, uh, to see what this sort of budget-friendly CNC can cut and do. Uh, I'm super stoked to make time lapses on this. I'm super stoked to make furniture like this material efficient stool on it. Uh, I'm super stoked to be reclaiming wood materials and turning them into useful things uh, around the house and, and playing a bit more with design in that aspect. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have some suggestions of what I can do with this machine, uh, what sort of projects you'd like to see, uh, what sort of testing you'd like me to do with it, uh, specification questions, stuff like that, leave them in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Um, is there a bell still? Ring, ring the bell, who knows? Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.